Valentine's Day is coming up already. Man. I already know. We're going to have a great Valentine's Day because I'm going to give her what she wants. And uh, I'm taking down the Christmas tree. <laughs> So, we had lights up for Jesus' birthday. Well, by God, we can have them up for the resurrection. <laughs> it's Easter, if you didn't know, by the way. <laughs> Mother's Day. I was, in, uh, I was in Atlanta last year, the week before Mother's Day. And, uh, man, I saw the weirdest Mother's Day commercial I have ever seen. This guy comes out and he goes, give your mom a mammogram on Mother's Day. So I'm like... I don't think I'm qualified to give anyone a mammogram. Don't you have to go to school for that? And I start thinking, you know what? I'm not going anywhere near this town on Father's Day. God knows what they'd have us do to that poor man. We had a birthday coming up. Man, every time I have a birthday, it amazes me. Because I was pretty wild when I was younger, and uh, I never thought I was going to live this long. Ha! Surprise! <laughs> I wish I'd known I was going to live this long. I would have uh, saved some money. <laughs> but the weird thing is, I found there are certain benefits to being broke, you know? Like that whole economic downturn thing we went through uh, didn't really affect me at all. <laughs> I think I lost like nine dollars. <laughs> That's not. But then you see these people being interviewed on the news going, I lost eight hundred thousand dollars. I'm like, well, that's what you get for having so much money. <laughs> these are hot dogs and these are ramen noodles. <laughs> Enjoy your stew, sir. Enjoy your stew. Because rich people don't know anything about ramen. You know, they're like, ramen noodles, what are they? Uh, they're ten for a dollar. That's all you really need to know, sir. All that, the fact that you get a whole week for the sodium in every serving. It's hard finding nutrition for a dime. And I may live a long time, too. I have a lot of longevity in my family. All my grandparents made it through the late 90s. My dad's folks made it through the 76th wedding anniversary. 76 years they were married. Man, toward the end, I couldn't even tell them apart anymore. <laughs> oh my God, that's, they looked exactly the same at the end. My grandmother even grew a mustache. <laughs> And you can tell my grandfather eventually, because he would always tell you the same thing. You know something? Your grandmother looks the same now as she did the day I met her. <laughs> she must have been a brutal looking 18 year old. Obviously she was the one buying the beer. <laughs> My dad. My dad's got a friend. Him and his wife have married like 60 years, and they're uh, going through a divorce. I'm like, come on. How do you make it through 60 years of marriage and finally go, that's it, I'm out of here? <laughs> Match.com, here I come. set a retirement plan for myself finally and uh, I tell you what the way I put money in this thing right now as long as I die within two months of retiring I'm set up pretty sweet <laughs> <laughs> I live any longer than that I'll be working the door of Walmart in the blue valve hi Buck walking in the door <laughs> yes I should have planned things out better but I didn't <laughs> getting stupider too man like, you ever done this? You were back in the house and run over a paper clip or a bobby pin or something like that about a thousand times, and the machine just won't pick it up. 
<laughs> and you're gonna keep it. You know, you won't bend over, pick up, just throw it away. You're like bend over, try it a different spot. There you go. I don't know who you think you're dealing with up here. I got a college education. There it is. I win. Hey! Hundred eighty-six dollars. That's what it costs to have it taken out of the motor. <laughs> Sometimes you have to pay for your principles. <laughs> hey, you guys, drive one of those uh, smart cars, those little teeny tiny things. Nobody got. My brother, a friend of my brother's bought one last year. He's like, hey, man, you want to take this thing for a ride? And I'm like, uh, no, I don't. <laughs> it's a death trap. He goes, no, it's a safe car. I'm like, eh, I'll pass. I'm like six months after that, he's in a car accident. He's actually a rollover. Because he got T-boned by uh, some chick on rollerblades. <laughs> nice car, Bobby. <laughs> saw this commercial not long ago for this new uh, banking app. You can do all your banking on your phone. So it's balances from account to account. Boom, right in your phone. And part of the commercial, this lady's going, wait a minute. You mean I can check my bank balance while I'm riding the bus? Yeah, I'm thinking, if you're riding the bus, I can tell you what your bank balance is. I don't need a Galaxy 9 to find out you got $82 in your checking account. 